This is a corner of the picturesque Rue Saint-Denis in Montreal, Canada, and this street is the center for one of the city's most colorful events, and that's the Montreal International Comedy Festival. Hey, it's Randy here at the Just for Laughs Comedy Festival in Montreal, biggest comedy festival in the world. We're kind of just walking around, stumbling around downtown Montreal, and we come across the Just for Laughs Festival to get Montreal. Look at that. <laughs> Unbelievable. Yeah. What the hell's going on? <laughs> I don't know what's going on. This is a mystery. There's something that's happening. It's all in French. Hey! Montreal, the cultural capital of Canada, the Paris end of North America. Every year when the ice pack melts, the locals emerge into the twittering sunlight for a month of comedy, art, jazz, late nights, heavy drinking, lovely ladies, and chips covered in gravy and cheese curd. Parks living the world's greatest comedy festivals. This, ladies and gentlemen of Australia, is Just for Laughs. Gosh, this is so exciting, Just for Laughs. Culture is the big word here. You're world renowned for your Montreal Comedy Festival. Why do you think they care so much about the different arts? In general, it's kind of always been like this in Montreal. It's very much encouraged in the city. I'm at the Montreal Just for Last Festival. The place is crawling with comics. You can come and hang with us if you're cool and you don't get offended by anything. Let me tell you about Canadians. They're, uh, they're a great group, very nice, very polite. And when it comes to uh, the comedy festival, they uh, they go all out. Welcome home, Howie. It's great to be here. How does it feel? Yeah. It feels like home. How would you describe, kind of sum up what Just for Laughs is for people that don't get to come to Montreal and experience this? I think people need to be coming to Montreal and experiencing it live, but it is the premier comedy event of the world. And the thing that irks me to no end is that people aren't aware of how important Montreal and Just for Laughs is in the world of comedy. It really is a big deal. People from here have been launched throughout the world and have become international stars. Two years after it began as a French-only festival, in 1985, a two-night showcase of cutting-edge comedy began in Montreal when Just for Laughs was born. They've introduced, nurtured, and promoted an amazing list of talent from Chris Rock to Kevin Hart to John Stewart to Tim Allen. And they even took a chance on a young comic after watching his unsolicited audition tape. And that comic was me. That's right. Thank you, thank, thank you. you, thank you. Man, I love Montreal. I do, man. Yeah, man, I was hanging out in the black community today. Both of those guys are great. I don't know how many of you have ever been to the Just For Last Festival, but you guys have a national treasure here. You sincerely do. Montreal's an interesting place. You know, it's a funny thing, too, like, during the festival. It becomes, like, this uh, really intense environment for comedians. A lot of pressure. People go there to be seen. They go there to make deals. Right. People get development deals and shit from Montreal. When you come to this festival, it's an event. People look forward to it. It goes on for days. It's all over the city of Montreal. Montreal means so much to me. I, I don't know that people in Montreal love this, but I was born and raised in Toronto. But Montreal was the first city that really accepted me as an entertainer. It was also the center of excitement. Leaving Toronto and going to Montreal, it had nightlife and it had culture, and I ended up living here. Welcome to Montreal. Bro. Thank you so much. What do you think about Montreal? Dude, I want to move here, dude. Uh, are you serious? Yeah, because the women are beautiful, the men are beautiful, the food is great, it's cultured, people are pretty liberal and open here, man. Montreal's a cool place, man. Holy yeah. Yeah, it really is. I did a lot of walking around. And, did you? Yeah, yeah, they know how to just uh, can chill up there. Every park had some little weird thing happening. Uh, we might have just stumbled onto something pretty cool. We were also lucky enough to be up there during mural festivals, so there was all sorts of street art everywhere. I love the street art. Some f***ing great artwork. Holy shit. What's it like being in Montreal for you for the, for the festival? Man, this is crazy, bro. Like, this is a beautiful city, man. All the, all the women are beautiful. You got some yet? First of all, it's not that kind of show. I also like the food. I have got some of that. Uh, and the food is amazing. The Montreal smoked meat. I mean, to have a, a meat named after your own city, that says something about the city. I love Montreal, though I do. It's one of the great, uh, the great cities of the world. 21 years ago, I started my career in this very building. And every time I come here, I think, you know, if it wasn't for you bastards, I could have been a doctor by now. <laughs>
Last time I performed here at the Just for Laughs Gala was 25 years ago, and uh, I did so well, they invited me back. So that was nice. Comedy festival thing, that Montreal thing. What year was that? I don't know. Like 87? Like, How long had you been doing comedy at that point? Six months. Oh, really? Yeah, but it was Canada, so we got a home So that was like court. In- Because the Montreal Comedy Festival was in Canada, right. we had a quota yeah. to fill. You know, oh, I, right, I, right. I would never have gotten on it if I was in the state. I love Montreal, my God, you know, and call me an eternal optimist, you know, but I really believe in my heart that this is the year that the Expos are finally going to win it all. Mm-hmm. Montreal's a great festival, man. It's like, we call it like a comedy convention. summer camp, yeah. you know, for comics. Like, yeah. yeah. You know, it's comedy summer camp, I call it always. Such a fun thing for, uh, get to see all the people around the country that I only see once a year or so sometimes. You know, you've been here before. What makes this festival so special? For me, this, this festival uh, made my career. I came here and I was poor, and I left here and I was never poor again. So I always come back. They asked me a million times, I'll come at least 40. There is no other festival in the history of festivals that has consistently delivered this level of stardom, this level of talent. Dude, this is fucking awesome. God, this is nuts. Everywhere is just. Everywhere is comedy. A comedy show. This is actually comedy heaven. (laughs) <laughs> it is. It really is. Basically, during the festival, they shut this whole street down. Bye-bye. They start putting up these different acts. The streets are filled with stages and seats, and if you come back at night, there's hundreds of thousands of people on every square block of this city. We're at Just for Laughs, which so is really exciting. cool. I've, I've known about this. Just for Laughs my whole life, uh, but we're here, I have never, which is great. Never I would ever sell it just the last ever. It should just be one more. Is that it? Yeah! Hi. 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 No, I'm not kidding. I want a picture with this guy. This guy's dope. Alright. This is like the Thing of the festival. Does the, uh, does the the Montreal the little mascot? Does that look like if you ask a redneck to describe a Jew? Like is it? He's <laughs> 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 like oh, a little green guy with a pointy nose and horns. Here we are, about to go do the gala. This is like the most important show in the festival. Three thousand people, the most beautiful theater I've ever played. If you can't laugh here. <laughs> <laughs> You can't laugh anyway. Let's stop the show. Let's do it, people. Hello, Montreal. How you doing? Are you ready to party? What's going on, Montreal? Montreal! 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 Well, I can't tell you how excited I am to be back in Montreal because I'm not. Hey, from the gut. But every summer... Montreal becomes a comedy mecca. No way! We all know how funny mecca is. Repent! No, sorry. This is a festival that was true to me early on before things happened. Get the hell out of here! This is actually the festival that really launched me, that really gave me my start. It's the Montreal (laughs) International Comedy festival just for your rear. And I sincerely believe this is probably one of the best curated comedy events on earth. All right, Mitch, just about to step on stage at Just for Laughs Montreal. How you feeling, Big Daddy? Oh, man, I, th- I think it's going to go good. I feel the crowd is, you know, they're, they're, they're really laughing hard, so I'm excited. I got some I, I got some ideas that I might try, you know, hopefully it'll fly. You guys are cool, man. Canada is all right. I like the American-Canadian border, because if you're walking along the border with a friend and you push your friend into Canada, he can't push you back right away, because first he has to go through customs. <laughs> what brings you to Canada, that asshole? I'm not going to lie, Montreal probably has the sexiest border I've ever come to in my life. Yeah, I didn't feel like I was being interrogated, I felt like I was being flirted with. <laughs> Say, what are you planning to do in Montreal? I'm planning to stay. That's what I'm doing. Do you know how hard it is to get here to Montreal? It's Montreal. This isn't like across the seas. It took me 16 hours to get here today from New York City. I've been coming to Montreal now for 20 years. And, uh, yeah. Well, 
First, I tried out for Cirque du Soleil. And you should have seen me in that body sock. Thank you. Merci. Hello. Hello. In keeping with the bilingual spirit, en gardant l'esprit bilingue, everything I say in English, tout ce que je dirai en anglais, I will repeat in French, je le dirai aussi en français. Thank you very much. Do morakato gozaimasu. I'm born, you know, I, I was raised in this country, you know. When you tell people in Los Angeles you grew up in Canada, they, they don't know what goes on up here, you know. So a lot of times you get the same answer. Wow! Must have been cold! When they asked me to do this festival, I said yes immediately. Quand ils m'ont demandé de faire ce festival, j'ai dit oui, mais seulement si vous me présentez Mitsumi Takahashi. Thank you. Um, Just want to say, uh, every time I come here, I get very sentimental because I worked my first comedy clubs in Montreal. I used to live at the Y on Park Avenue. That makes yeah. And I worked in their coffee shop as a waitress to pay to go to all the comedy. And I, I and you were very generous because I found out if you limp, Montrealians give you extra tips. Oh, oh. So I would go to the Who can I help you. By the way, I will say that I have noticed that the homeless people in Montreal are like no place else I've seen. They're homeless and they all have cigarettes and iPods. You haven't smoked weed all day because your city does not give a fuck for some reason. It's amazing. They don't care at all. They like it, they cheer it on. Like I went to hide it and, he, and one of the cops was like, this place is awesome. Yeah, the smell of pot. Lot of the weed. Why is Travis laughing? No, I'm laughing because everybody up there smokes. It's just it's unbelievable. Just it yeah, everyone, a lot of everyone's them, just walking around being weed. nice and smoking. Does Montreal have a big beef with Toronto? Yeah. Why? Is it because I thought your savior uh, of Canada was from Toronto? Uh, your Drake. Canada, oh Canada. I came here for your ginger ale. I, uh, it's a great, great country. I, I hope someday that we can take you quietly. We are not... <laughs> Two countries on the entire continent, us and them. And they, we're very similar. I mean, we both have armies. We just didn't give ours guns or anything. But you like it here in Montreal, Montreal. Bonjour. Whatever the hell that means. But you like you do like Montreal. Yeah, a lot of drinking going on here. Yeah, yeah. Budweiser's considered a soda. This festival has produced dozens of sitcom superstars. Uh, ce festival a produit des centaines de losers. The city before this had so much going on in one calendar year. Just festivals all the time. Comedy festival, jazz festival. Montreal's like one giant kid with ADD that just <laughs> constantly needs to be entertained. Try a night in. I love Montreal mostly because in a lot of ways, I am Montreal. Our exteriors are beginning to show their age. We've both made some questionable financial decisions. And people keep saying that we peaked in the 70s. So, there we go. Wonderful. Being surrounded by so many funny people from all over. I mean, the, the spirit was magic. It was just wonderful. Obviously, working with Billy and Robin and Whoopi was a thrill for me. I admire them all so much. Oh, Mary, I think you mean comic relief. We're talking about Just for Laughs in Montreal. Yeah, oh yeah, Montreal. <laughs> I remember that ugly green thing. 
in Montreal and be the launching pad to unlimited stardom. It is the place to watch the superstars of tomorrow. I know this dress makes me look pregnant, but dress for the job that you want. New Faces is the showcase of sort of up and coming stand-up talent. It's a group of stand-ups who have been completely unrecognized before this moment. It's an opportunity for comics to get seen by television, sex, stand-up agents, club bookers. You guys can breathe here. I live in Los Angeles and I didn't realize I was being deprived of oxygen. I got off the plane here, I took a deep breath. I was like, oh my God, I can do math. Every year we look at hundreds and hundreds of comics. We're really trying to hone in on the 20 or so comics that are gonna make the cut. The first day you get here, you're like, oh my gosh, I did it. And then you realize, oh my gosh, now I have to actually do it. I wasn't really nervous until I got here. And then I saw what this festival was. The fact that all of LA packs up and comes here. Literally the whole balcony was full of agents and managers and other comedians. We wanted to bring you guys into the theater. This is the Monument National. It's very historic. We're gonna have 800 people in here that are here to see you. Internalize it, realize that you're here with a chance to just show who you are. I remember at New Faces, people being like, you just gotta kill it. Craig Robinson was like, you just gotta kill it. You just gotta kill it. <laughs> Hadn't even occurred to me to try to kill it. Like, I was just like, survive. For eight years, I've been waiting for this, and uh, I'm so excited. Halfway through, I was bummed it was going to end. I just wanted to stay out there. They were incredible. They were a perfect crowd, very smiling, wonderful faces. <laughs> Dude, fucking great. It's pretty crazy the bike locks are legal. You have any idea the amount of power you wield with a bike? <laughs> you could just walk past the 7-Eleven and be like, you're closed. <laughs> I get yeah. You guys have been so much fun. I'm Rosebud Baker. Bye. I could I could have done that for four hours. I mean, that just made my life. We're going to the first show tonight, The Nasty Show. This is the biggest show at the festival. Over a thousand people every single night. We do 11 of them. It's insane. I didn't even know Montreal had this many people. What's up, you Canadian mother Canuckers? People are asking me why I'm doing Rose Battle in Montreal. It's because this is the biggest comedy festival in the world. All the best comics are here. I'm very proud to say that a whole bunch of my friends are coming to help me judge the battles this week. Seth <laughs> Rogan wandered in. Scott <laughs> Apatow and Sarah Silverman. <laughs> my really good pal Jimmy Kimmel came in. What's happening, Jimmy? Oh, thanks. Jimmy, this is where we met Montreal, do you remember? We did, we met almost 20 years ago here. Whoopi Goldberg, welcome to Montreal, thank you. Oh, this is so cool. But tonight we're kicking it off with two of the biggest names, David Spade and Kevin Hart. You're 20 years old, you've been arrested for drunk driving, your ex-boyfriend is 47. Your parents must just swell with pride when they tell their friends you died in a house fire. Bonsoir, mes amis! How great is Montreal, my uh, God. I've been crowing about it uh, since, we, since we got back. It's kind of depressing to be back here. Oh, I just got back from Montreal. I had an awesome time up there. We did the Olympic Theater on my birthday. I go up there. I go out, and when Andrew brought me up, he goes, uh, keep it going for the birthday, boy. And he brought me out, and the crowd sang me happy birthday. It was awesome. He had a fun show. I get off stage, and I walk down to the green room. Some people from Just for Laughs were there, and they got me this, this unbelievable cured meat. And then the second show, at the end of that, brought out a cake with candles on it and shit, and everyone was singing happy birthday again. 
It's a 1,400 seater. I had 2,800 people sing me happy birthday. It was one of the best birthdays I've ever had. So I'm an asshole. I go to blow out the candles and I go, I got to make a wish. I got to make a wish. And I'm in Montreal. I go, I wish for a Bruins Stanley Cup championship next year. And they're all like, bah. <laughs> Their reaction made me laugh and I blew out part of the candles without the rest of them. So I guess we're not winning next year. I really want to thank everybody that came out. I had such a fucking great time. And that really is one of the great cities that I've ever been to. I love that place. I wish I had more time to spend there. Andrew Schultz, everybody. It's pretty dope. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, stood up. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> the price went up, that place. It's the best time I ever had in my whole life. That's true. And it's a dream come true. It's such a treat to get to come to Montreal. Like, every comedian looks forward to coming to Montreal. Greatest comedy festival ever. It's going to be a long time before I forget this festival. But believe me when I tell you, I will forget it. It's a nice city, isn't it? You're lucky to live here, huh? This is a beautiful place. I've been all over. This is gorgeous. This city is the city of light. And it's just the most beautiful, multicultural, great food, great people, great style, and great laughter. It's all right here in Montreal. Nick, Cat, Patty, Wack, give your dog a call.